Ryan City Media Offseason Outlook rolls on. I'm here with Xavier Tillman. Xavier, obviously, you've been one of the guys that you know came off the bench and then started some games in the playoffs, had a nice impact. Um, as you look at how this season ended, how you guys have gotten better every single month of the season, what are your biggest takeaways in terms of how this team developed? We adapted for sure. You know, we were in the new territory with how far we went in the playoffs. And uh, you can see it, it took a physical toll on us. So definitely things to go into the summer with is getting our mind and our, and our bodies ready for the long haul like that. But overall, I'm proud of our guys. I mean, we competed the whole season. You know, but there are a lot of games where we were down and they didn't matter. Like until, until the clock was over, we played to the end and we had some amazing comebacks, some amazing game winners and whatnot. So I'm, I'm really proud of our guys. At the end of the season, you guys go through exit interviews and everyone gets these off-season development programs and plans. What is that process like? And when you open those pages, uh, what are the things that you see that you say, okay, I'm gonna hit on this as soon as I can? Typically, they have a kind of a list of things that they would like you to work on coming into next season and usually you can hit on all three um, more than likely though you'll have that one that you're like I really feel like I could be good at this one and you'll kind of dive into that one on your own even more so um, yeah it's, a, it, it's exciting though to kind of get a guide to know what you should work on so then you're not just in the summer just doing whatever you know what I mean so it's pretty good. And the, the, the youth of this team, obviously, second youngest team in the league, produced the second best overall record in the league. So did you guys wear the, the, the youngest team uh, moniker a, a, as a point of pride? And then as you guys mature, what are the steps to get even better from this point going into next season? Being a young team, we just kind of didn't care too much about what else was going on. We just cared about us. And uh, we'll continue that as we go along in our careers for sure. Um, but I, I think the biggest thing for us is the maturity standpoint of when it gets to that crunch time, we're all able to be cool and calm and, and collected and, and not just have to depend on job, but he can depend on us. Yeah. Um, and then, you know, on the defensive end as well, everybody's accountable in those clutch moments of the game and everybody knows what we're supposed to do. So I think as we mature, people will start to settle in more to their roles, will settle in more to those high pressure situations and just kind of be able to make those plays. And lastly, for me, um, you've already been through it now, uh, two years in the league, going into your third year. What would your message be to a guy like Zaire and Santi as they go from mm -hmm. the transition from year one to year two? Yeah, this is the your favorite summer because you didn't play as much as you'd like, and you just feel like this summer you're gonna go on a monster tear of workouts to, <laughs> to make sure that like you're at your most elite form by the time training camp starts. So. Um, it's gonna be exciting for them, for sure, and myself included. You know, I got a lot of stuff that I want to work on. I want to make sure that I can do my best to try to crack their rotation and stay in there the whole season. So I'm motivated for sure.